guys, my name is Zhang Yitan. Welcome to my video that I want to introduce you how to predict IDC in breast cancer histology image by using convolutional neural network. So breast cancer is the most common form of cancer in women and IDC is the most common form of breast cancer. Acute rate A identifying and categorizing breast cancer subtypes is an important clinical task An automated method can be used to save time and reduce error. I downloaded the dataset from Kago and they are naming in this pattern. So if an uh, image is named and it with class 0.png, that means this image is IDC negative. If an image is named and it with class 1.png, that means this image is IDC positive. So when I was analyzing the data, I find that this dataset is highly unbalanced. Around 83% of them are IDC negative. Um, it is a big problem to train our model on an unbalanced data set. So for example, if I classify all the data to IDC negative, I will still get a 83% accuracy rate which is very ridiculous. To solve this problem, I use augmentation method to increase the size of positive IDC image. Here is how the original image will look like. Here is how it will look like after I flip it horizontally. Here I flip it vertically. And here I apply a noisy filter on it so it looks a little bit more colorful. I go through all the image data set and if this image is um, IDC positive, I implement the augmentation method on it to increase the size of positive data set. So that's how, how it will look like after I go through all of them and implement the augmentation method. So now the SS distribution looks much better. After that, I try to plot some image for both IDC negative and IDC positive sample. You can see that the difference between them is very distinguishable. I bet it will not hard from our model to classify them. I build our model here. Unfortunately, um, when I first trained my model, I find that it, it has a terrible performance. Its accuracy rate is only 45% on it. Um, however, if I guess it randomly, I will still have at least a uh, 50% accuracy rate. So that's totally unacceptable. To solve, to solve this problem, I implement the transfer learning with the VG6, VGG16 model. That's how my new model will look like. After training it with 40 epochs, I got an accuracy rate around 90%, which is much better. And from this two trend line graph, we can see that uh, my model do not have the problem of overfit or underfit. It's if you um, try to test it with the testing set, here is the confusion matrix. Most of the most of the input are correctly predicted. So if we want to use this model, we can basically use use it for this pattern. We put the input set to the as a parameter as the model dot predict and Y predict is the output of this method. So this our is our output array. If that's true, that means this image is predicting as IDC positive. If that's false, that means this image is predicting as IDC negative. So comparing to the true label, we can find them. Most of the image are predicting uh, correctly. 